Uh, we're going to get some gusty winds with this. Right now, could be below severe limits, but there could be some gusty winds embedded in here, 50 up to 60 miles per hour, and again, some very heavy rainfall. We'll watch these thunderstorms developing out ahead of it. Again, there's a lot of spin in the atmosphere. We've been prepping you for this for the last few days that this cold front, as it got its act together to the west of us, would intensify, and that's really what we've seen here. We've seen this line intensify out across Oklahoma, eastern Oklahoma, back down in south central Oklahoma. Now it's moving in and we're going to have to watch it. To the north, not dealing with any severe storms now in Benton County. They do have a flash flood warning across Benton County. This line of storms has been training over the same areas. One to three inches of rainfall has fallen in just the last uh, hour or two. An additional one to three was possible here. Good news is that rain is starting to move off towards the east, but we have an unstable atmosphere in place, and that's why we'll have to continue to watch the threats for uh, the potential of some of these uh, storms to start to rotate and spin up and strengthen. Again, damaging uh, hail, damaging winds, and a few tornadoes, all possible uh, with this uh, uh, activity that we're tracking here today. With the line of storms, when, when these storms go linear like this, your hail threat does go down. You can still get some pockets of small hail in there, but your damaging wind threat goes up, and then those brief spin-ups, uh, maybe even some reports of damage there with that uh, Stillwell um, circulation that kind of tightened through. Michelle, whenever you're ready, we can uh, go to velocity, maybe pause it. Again, we may want to um, try to do the better picture. We'll see what it looks like when, once you go over to it, see if we can't get a little clearer uh, velocity for us. But we want to watch, again, some of the uh, rotation coming in and out of uh, Adair County uh, into portions of uh, western Washington County. A little messy there, huh? Yeah, you can kind of see the rotation there yeah. by Murrow. Yeah, so that's where, again, this is the rotation that came out of Stillwell, now crossing into Washington County. If we are going to have a, another brief uh, touchdown or another uh, spin up, this is where it would be. All right, in relation to the rest of Washington County, there's Prairie Grove, this circulation just to the south. Again, this is not a tornado warning, but we may have seen this just quickly tighten up and produce a tornado briefly around Stillwell. We're still tracking the circulation now moving towards West Fork, I-49. There's some strong wind gusts. We can go ahead and treat this as a tornado warning uh, for those that are around I-49 from Fayetteville to West Fork. Uh, again, just head into the interior part of your home or your work, your office, wherever you are. If you're getting ready to head out, let this pass by. Give yourself as much uh, padding between you and the outside as possible. Again, we'll continue to watch this circulation. Uh, Michelle, are we live on uh, social media currently? Yes. Okay, we're going to stay live on social media. We're going to continue to track this. I just wanted to bring you an update as we are watching an area of rotation. May have produced a brief tornado. This is happening really in the last like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, but that circulation has moved into southwestern portions of Washington County, moving off towards the northeast. Michelle's tracked it out. Forest Greenland 927, Fayetteville 932, Elkins 938, Goshen 943, and Mayfield 948. Again, this line of storms is moving pretty quick off towards the east. These circulations within the leading edge of this are moving over 30, 40 miles per hour, so they can move up the line pretty quick. So heads up to you. We're watching this area of rotation. Severe thunderstorm warning for uh, Washington County. Does include Fayetteville, includes Greenland, West Fork, Winslow. We're watching for this area of circulation. See that little notch right there? You've got your inflow. You've got your outflow coming around, wrap around on the backside. Could see another brief tighten up of that circulation. And then uh, as we zoom out, we can do that here, uh, Michelle, great job. We could see those uh, circulations pop up anywhere in this line. That's why we're going to have to watch that. This cluster to the south right now in the River Valley, I know it doesn't look too uh, bad right now, nothing too daunting. But again, this entire area is unstable. We'll have to watch these thunderstorms. They could uh, strengthen and intensify too as we go deeper into the morning and the afternoon hours. One thing we could possibly see if this cluster of thunderstorms continues to build a little bit more, it could cut off the southerly flow to the southern end of this line, weakening it. That's something we'll just kind of have to watch uh, play out now. Again, we have severe thunderstorm warning. This is going to go until 9.45 a.m. Possibility of uh, some small hail, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, and a circulation is in there. We could see a brief tornado trying to get going. Again, you can almost you can see the circulation there south of Highway 62. We'll continue to watch this for you. We'll get you back to your uh, scheduled programming. We're going to stay live on social media. And if we do get any more of these warnings, we get tornado warnings, obviously we'll be back on here uh, to keep you guys ahead of the storm. Okay, we can go ahead and go back to uh, programming. And we'll stay on social media. 
Michelle, are you seeing anything new? Nothing new from the National Weather Service, but um, I'm trying to go back to the velocity. Just trying to see it. I'm going to go back over here too and see if we can see.